All right guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you another super cool card trick that you can do to impress your friends and family. You can start off by having a shuffle deck and a spectator is gonna pick whatever card they want. Let's say, for instance, this is the card the spectator picks. I'm not gonna look at it. That is your guys' card for the trick. You say, look, you know what? I'm gonna put it into the middle of the deck somewhere. Okay, we're gonna get it lost. And this way, I can't find it as easy, right? But to make this a little bit easier on myself, if I give the card a simple cut, I should be able to find it. And you say, okay, this actually wasn't your card. You say, okay, hold on to this one. You say, what about this one? No, it's not your card either. Okay, um, let's mix it up a little bit. Maybe it'll come to the top if I show you like this one. They say no. Okay, what about, it has to be that card. They say no. Okay, you know, what was the first card that I gave you? And then you flip over the card, show it to the spectator, and it is their card from the beginning of the trick. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the performance. This is actually a bit of an older trick. It's called Plan B, um, and you really can get any deck of cards. Um, you can use a borrowed one from the spectator. You can have them shuffle the cards. It really doesn't matter because they're going to pick whatever card they want to begin with. So they pick a random card. All right. In this case, it is the king of clubs, right? So you tell them, you know, you're gonna get it lost in the middle of the deck, but what you're really doing is just controlling it to the top via a double undercut. So I'll leave a link for that. The card, the spectators pick a card and then it goes right back to the top. So once it's there, you can do a false cut just to make it look like you're doing something fancy when you're really doing nothing. The card is gonna stay on top and you can say, you know what? I think I found your card. All right, so at this point you do a double lift. So you lift two cards over I'll uh, leave a video link for that. You flip two cards over. This obviously isn't the spectator's card because theirs is on the bottom. So they say, okay, you know what? Um, this isn't my card. You know what, why don't you hold on to that for me? And then what you do is do another double lift because now you have that six on top. So you do another double lift. You show them, okay, that's not your card either. And then from here you can do whatever you want because you can stop the trick here to make it easier after you've done two double lists. If you don't want to screw up, you can say, you know what, what was the first card that you picked? Then you can flip it over. But if you want to do something a little bit more fancy, you can, you know, shuffle the deck up again. And then do, and this is super simple if you want to learn how to do it. It's, you take the next top card, you out jog the first one, put it on top, get two cards back to back. And I'll leave a link for that so this is explained. And you're just flipping it over while you're spinning it. And that might look a little bit more you know, a little bit more involved for your spectators. And at this point, once they're, you know, annoyed with everything you've shown them, you flip over the card and it's theirs from the beginning. So I hope you all liked the video. Um, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.